Hello everyone, this is Homestar92, and welcome to part 13, yeah, of Mother 1. And if you're wondering why I'm exiting the Monkey Cave, it's because you don't actually need to do it to beat the game. Holy crap, four Omega stuff, oh no, three of them, and an Ultra Barbot. Uh, why not? I'll fight them. They're actually pretty weak. They should go down pretty quickly. They're not overly strong, but they have the ability to do PSI shields, which are annoying. So, Ninten... Hmm. Go ahead and take out the Ultra Barbot, you take out that, and you take out that. Good, good, one down. I'm gonna go ahead and do this battle just for the experience. Because there should be a good amount of it. Omega Saucer A is done. Um, B, you do C, and you do B. Stop hurting my people. Good, there we go. Haha. -ha. Oh, and Lloyd got a level from that, so all is not bad. Force has increased, HP has increased, ooh, picked up a plasma beam. Nice, nice. Time for some good old fashioned healing. Life up alpha for Anna. And big bag for Nintendo. That should be pretty close to full. Good enough. So now we need to exit the desert to the south, but first be interrupted by a Nancy. And I can fight it. Use your plasma beam and you use PSI block. Oh, holy crap. One damage from the intent. That's not good. Oh crap. Well, we can keep it up if that keeps working. Yeah, they're not weak. But they go down easily with the plasma beam. And they make Anna learn a new PSI power. So, some life up beta for Anna. I think everyone else would be fine. Of course! Ooh, Starman, my favorite enemy. And kind of the de facto mascot of this series. Unfortunately, there are no more Franklin badges. That does truly suck. What the crap? A Gabalon. Come on, just die, please. Oh boy, this is going to be annoying. A ludicrous number of random battles in this one. Of course, Anna is pretty close to dead. But I think Life Up Beta should be enough to bring her up to full, as sad as that is. And Lloyd. Okay, now let's not get in a random battle. Get out of the desert. Ah. I hate battles. I hate them. Okay, so basically the reason you don't need to do the monkey cave is because at the end all you really get is a new entrance to Magicant, which also gives you a new exit, which is closer to where you are at this point, but for reasons which you'll see in a minute, you don't need a new exit. So, there's really no reason to worry about it. So, does the Franklin badge only deflect, uh, Omega? Like, um, PK Beam Omega? I don't know. Anyway, onward to the weedy area. 
Um, right. If you go into the train station, he's just going to tell you that um, the track is broken and he doesn't want to fix it. And he's it's the end of the world. But I'm not going to worry about that. It's a waste of time. We've got bigger fish to fry. I'll probably cut this battle. Because soon we'll be at town. Alright, come on, show me the money. Yay, Nintendo got a new level. Alright. Ooh, new PSI power. What is it? Healing pie, I think. I don't think Nintendo knew that before. Of course. Okay, Spider A. Not really a threat unless he calls his friends. Like that. Okay, you guys target A. Oh, of course, just, yeah, go, oh, wow, sweet. Okay, Spider A is dead. Now we all target B. Haha, <laughs> no effect on me, 10, you suck. Okay, and we're in town. Basically, all these kids will just tell you to hold them, because I guess they think you're some kind of pedo. Well, you are a kid, so... You being 12 and them being 5, it's a little more understandable. Basically, the story of this town is all of the adults were abducted by aliens. And now it's just a town full of kids. Of course, all these buildings have square doors, so you can't get in any of them. But there's one building in particular that's important. And it's this one. Oh yes, my name is Tom Garrickson. I like to introduce myself. It's my hobby. That's nice. Mom told me this baby had mystic power. Oh, let's ask it about it. Goo ga. Let's check it. No problem. Um, well, maybe you can talk. Yes, even though my body is that of a baby, I look like you, I possess psychic abilities. I know the power of teleportation. Use this power to return to a place you've been to. The baby taught them the power of teleportation. So really, you never need magic hand again as a means of shortcutting back to another town. Which is why I skipped that magic hand entrance, because you don't need it for anything. You have the onyx hook. There's a couple more things of noteworthiness here, as soon as I find them. Namely, the shop and there's a free hotel. Okay, here's the shop. I would really only recommend the air gun if you already have the boomerangs, because it's the only weapon there that's more powerful than the boomerang. Let's see, we need 1400, so. Thir oops. 1355. And let's buy Lloyd the air gun. The air gun raises your offense 42 as opposed to the 36 that the boomerang raises it. So let's go ahead and let's give that to Lloyd. And go ahead and give that to Nintendo, even though he has no use for it. And equip your air gun. So there we go. Now if you go next door, it is a free hotel. So you can stay here for free. And even though I'm way early, there's nothing else I can do quickly, so I'm going to cut the video here. I'm a few minutes, but that's okay. So until next time, if you like my if you like this series or me or this game, remember to comment, rate and subscribe. And I am Homestar92, and I will see you guys later. Right, guys, before I cut off, I just wanted to say that now is a great time to start grinding off screen. You really want Anna to be about at level 22 for the next area. So next time you see me, I will be at a 
much higher level. And this should be the last major grinding session of the game, so good stuff there. So anyway, I'm Hopestarn2, and now I'm out.